difficult because in politics we're always dealing with election terms, which are usually are four years. So this is what makes the climate issue so spectacularly difficult and challenging. But I think what has changed in Iceland in five years is that every political party really has made its policy on climate, which was not the case before Paris. So changes can happen, but uh, I think the single most important thing is that we will stop the world, I'm not just talking about my own country, to uh, use public money to fund non-renewable energy. I think this is really the biggest issue, that we are still seeing public money being used to fund non-renewables. And while we keep on doing that, we're not working really for the public, we need to really use that public money to develop uh, renewable energy. Prime Minister, whatever happens, we are still going to see global warming up to the middle of the century at least. Uh, and at the moment, we're on a trajectory to go up to 2.7 uh, degrees above pre-industrial levels, according to the UN's latest report as well. You've already mentioned some of the devastating effects. Just explain to me a little bit more, because you mentioned the glaciers. I, I saw a sobering statistic. I think it was 300 square miles of glacier have been lost in the last 20 years. You yeah. talked about the oceans and the, the potential acidification of those oceans. And, yes. and, and Iceland is a nation that never forgot how to fish, despite our various crises as well. It's devastating for your country, regardless of what happens, isn't it? Well, obviously we are worried. And maybe because we live so closely uh, with nature, because we are very dependent on nature, we are very dependent on the marine ecosystem around the country, uh, we really can feel it. Uh, you know, I meet Icelandic fishermen and they tell me we actually see the change happening in our oceans. So, and obviously we've had also experienced more uh, yeah, extremes in our weathers. We are seeing uh, different types of threats when it comes to our natural environment. Uh, so this is just the same that's happening everywhere. And this is a fact we all need to admit and be ready to react.